Hey you guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that you can be notified when I go live or upload a new video and please like this video. And also I've had a few people say that they have not been getting notifications. So if you can just check the notification bell just to make sure that all notifications are checked so that you are getting all of my notifications of new videos um just you know double check uh, this is just something i think that happens with youtube from time to time but i just thought that i would throw that out there all right in this video what i want to discuss is this thing with tasha k storm monroe and chelsea I don't know how many of you guys have already heard this story. You guys have probably already heard it, but I kind of want to give my thoughts on this. Um, now, Chelsea, she works for Tasha K. She, and, and I'm going to say that in this video, everything that I'm about to say, everything in this video is alleged. And it's just my opinion because that is what I'm giving my opinion to this story and it's alleged so chelsea works for tasha k alleged allegedly she had is an ex-employee of hollywood unlocked where it, it's been told that and this is could be or could may not be true but <clears throat> It is said that she was fired from Hollywood Unlocked because she she's messy. Now, we all know who Tasha K is and Storm Monroe. Now, Chelsea, who works for Tasha K, from what I know of her, they say she's smart, she's intelligent, she's busy, business savvy. Um, she has a good head on her shoulders. She has her own place in New York, her own apartment. Um, now where this thing with Von Ray, how he got involved with this is he was in jail. Um, I'm not sure if. I believe Tasha K had been speaking with him. They had done a little bit of work. I'm not sure if she had interviewed him. Uh, but it all started where he ended up getting out of jail. Um, but before he got out of jail, I guess he needed a place to stay. And so I guess, you know, it's alleged that his, his family didn't want him back. The baby's mothers didn't want him von ray back and he just needed a place to stay so tasha k asked storm if von ray could stay with him uh just to help him out i guess and also even it's also been said that even chelsea had called storm to ask him are you gonna let my baby daddy being von ray stay with you now keep in mind that chelsea barely knows von ray and doesn't have any kids with him she does not have any children with him um storm was supposedly moving out of his house anyway and agreed to let von ray rent a room I guess after speaking with uh, Chelsea and Von Ray both by a three-way phone conversation while Von Ray was still in jail. Now, Storm was moving out of his home, so, you know, he already allowed him to stay. When Storm moved out, I guess that's right when Von moved right on in. And then, I guess... That day or shortly after, Chelsea showed up with some trash bags, according to uh, 
according to what Storm said, that she just showed up with, with some trash bags. Um... I'm reading off here my notes. Give me just a minute. Now, I guess, uh, according to what Storm says, Von Ray and Chelsea, <clears throat> they're, they're in this relationship. And they start fighting, fight, like arguing all day, all night. There's times when Von Ray would body shame Chelsea. He would uh, say that he is going to be with other people. There's other allegations of him with other men. Um... And basically, Storm just says they're both toxic. Um, and basically, they're just, they fight all the time. Um, Storm uh, allegedly claims that he's upset with Tasha K because she, because she had put out his address or his whereabouts. Um, so he's upset with her over that. I, uh, there's a rumor also that Storm had blocked everybody, including Tasha K and Chelsea. Um, he also, Storm also lays most of the blame onto Chelsea. Um, now I don't know if this is because he blames her for starting all the, all the arguments or if he's if he just blames her for bringing Vaughn into the picture in the first place into a working environment and and you know you know this is a girl that is working for someone that they both work for and associate with but yet she's open, starting a, a new relationship with this guy that the boss is working with. Um, now, it is also being said that Storm Monroe is still friends with Vaughn. I guess during the course of Vaughn staying at Storm's house, Storm became friends with him. He did, I, but the way it's sounding, he didn't feel any, any type of way towards Chelsea. Um, he, I, it just sounds like he didn't have much respect for her. Um, and this is just my opinion, but it sounds like he didn't really, really like her much at all. Uh, but he did ha start to have a good relationship with Vaughn. And so... Now, here's where it doesn't make sense, okay? If you're a businesswoman, so, such as Tasha Kay is, why would you expect or ask your employee or associate, whichever you refer to Storm as, why would you, you know, to allow a man that's just getting out of jail. Why would you ask Storm to let this man move into his home? Why would you... You know, I, I could understand it if it's a family member or if it's somebody you know. But how would you feel? How would this woman feel if Storm, you know, the, if, the, if the shoe was on the other foot and Storm... A storm came to her and said, hey, this, this person I just met, she's in jail. I don't know her that very, that well, but she doesn't have a place to go. Can you take her in? Can you take her in for me, Tasha? Just, you know, just to help, just to help her out. 
So why, why would she expect him to do that? Why would she even ask him that? That don't make sense, for one thing. I think Tasha K, she's a little smarter than that. Why would she just ask him to do that? And here's my, my question for, for Storm, okay? Because I think Storm, in the middle of all this, he's just a person that is on the sidelines. Like, I don't know what the heck's going on. But I guess during the whole course of all of this, there was a whole lot of trouble going down. There was things that um, people, they were all talking about each other behind their back from what I'm hearing. And nobody was sticking up. Like, if Storm is your friend, why you're letting somebody else come to you and talk to you about your, you know, this person or even your associate. Why would you do that? But my question for Storm is, and the, this only thing I have for him, is why didn't you, why didn't you say heck no? You know, I know you're you're you know somebody I work with, but I, I'm not comfortable with this. I I don't want you know, I don't want somebody moving in to my home. I don't want somebody I don't know, and I especially don't want somebody that's just coming out of jail. That I don't know. And for Chelsea. She stated. Okay. That she had. Was in vacation. Living her best life. In the Bahamas. She goes and visits Vaughn. I guess she. Visits. Planning on staying there. Allegedly. Pretty much stayed a few weeks. I don't know how this happen because she's not really given too much details all you're hearing is storm side of the story and even he's not saying that much and the tasha k she's trying to give her bits and pieces of it and i guess she allegedly bought her trash bags according to what storm monroe says that she bought her trash bags when Vaughn bon moved into his house then here comes chelsea with her trash bags. And first off. Why would you start a relationship. With someone you know your boss had worked with. You stated. At times that you feared Bond. To. Allegedly. To the point. You wanted to start recording. What was going on. So. You know that whole time you're sitting there recording. Everything that's being said, you know, and that you have conversations because you feared. You, you uh, were in fear and you didn't know what, was, what he could do. You had your own home. Why didn't you just walk up and leave? Don't worry about recording anything. Just leave. That don't make sense to me. So you, you started doing this to the point you started recording it. Conversations. And when he said all those vile, mean things to you, you choose you chose to go upstairs and cry. According to what you and I guess Storm had said, that he would say things like body shame you. He would say some pretty mean things to you. And... You chose to go upstairs and cry instead of taking your butt out the door back to your own apartment in New York. You told Wiley that it was a hard situation to walk away from. That every week that you would try to walk away from it, the Vaughn had a new story. That, that kept you there. That made it almost impossible for you to leave. Allegedly somebody stole his money. And, and these are stories that he's telling her. That somebody stole my money. You know, I still need a place to live. Um, 
He needed food. He needed a car to get to work, a place to live, etc. So I think if this was a situation you really wanted out of, you would have just left. He had a place at Storm's house. He was secure in where he was at. And how he got to work was on him to figure out. This was not your responsibility to, to see to it that he had a vehicle to get to work. I mean, this is a man. How long did you know him before you even had, wanted to move in with him? You knew him, what, a couple weeks, a week? And then you claim, I guess Wiley said you were there about three weeks. And you, I guess Chelsea claimed that she was only there for about a week or so. A little over seven days, according to her. This isn't enough time to establish a relationship to the point where you're in so deep that you just can't get out. Okay. If he's hungry, he can feed himself. You were, you, you pretty much referred, tried to, you tried to say, you know, that you were working behind the scenes and get everything so that you can get everything in order so that you could eventually tell Vaughn that hey you know what this this thing just isn't going to work out um it's over between us are you kidding me you act like this is a marriage an abusive marriage that you've been in for years and that it, it just takes time to plan things out so that you can get out of it, you know, and and that's that was your excuse. You, that's something that you just kept saying that you had to figure out a way to get out of something that you've only, according to you, have been into only a, a, a week or so. But the reality, I think, is. From the sounds of it, he was already done using you and trying to find an excuse to rid himself of you while you were looking for every reason and excuse to stay with him. Because if it was, as you said, a situation that you had to work, work out and get everything in place so you could leave, I don't buy it. Girl, you have your own apartment. This is something you could have walked out of the door and said, hey, see ya. I, I don't have to be here. I'm not going to be here. You could have went home and just, you know, lived your life. Something with this whole thing, it doesn't sound right, you know. Uh, for one thing, these are supposed to be some intelligent people. And this girl, if, she, if she's in a, as an intelligent as everybody's claiming that she is, and Storm is, is the type of person that that he claims to be, and Tasha Kay, uh, is, she's not going to be asking somebody. I don't believe she's going to ask somebody, can he, somebody from jail just move in with you? Somebody, somebody we don't know. You know, this thing is either for clicks and views or all three of these people are some of the most uh, unintelligent people I've, I've seen. Now, you guys can leave in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is for clicks and views or, or do you think this thing is real? Do you guys, who do, out of the three, no, because there's four people. We're going to include Vaughn Ray in this who do you guys think is at fault here? I blame them all. I, I think they're all at fault. But I think that uh, Tasha Kay, I think Chelsea, 
and I think Von Ray are, are three people. But Von Ray, he's going to do. He he's he's a part. We already knew who, they knew who he was. They knew who he was. He was just getting out of jail. He doesn't know these people, so he don't he don't care nothing about them. So he's going to use them. He don't care. So for him to do what he did, that's to be expected. But out of the three, Ta Tasha K, well. I can't even say Storm because I, I I think he's just a victim in this thing. I think he's an innocent bystander. I think he just made the poor choice of allowing this man to move in with them. And then having Chelsea as, as the sidekick. You guys let me know what you guys think. This thing This whole thing does not make sense to me. It really doesn't. You guys have a wonderful night.